you will not allow coronavirus to change uh, your conversation. You see, there are some people, their conversation is changed. The only thing they talk about, have you heard the statistics of the world, the statistics in the West, the statistics in the South, the statistics in Asia, the statistics in Africa, all they can talk about, corona, corona, COVID-19. Corona will not change your conversation. Say amen over there. Corona will not change your conviction. The people, their convictions have been changed already. They are not really well taught in the word of God. They say we don't know whether, you know, the rapture will come later. Maybe the great revolution has started now. They're going to inject somebody with something and there's going to be a chip passed into their body and the antichrist is going to secretly put them some, put something to them and to Christ has not come, we must go first. The rapture must take place first. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, so that where I am, there ye may be also. Don't change your com a conviction because of coronavirus. Number three, some people change their, their commun communion. Their communion with the Lord, their, their fellowship with the Lord. They cannot pray anymore. Everything is panic. Somebody in the neighborhood has got this. Somebody in the place has got this. And because of that, no communion again, you'll be, you'll be in touch with the Lord. And the Lord will be in touch with you. And even if you see 1,000 fall there, 10,000 fall there, it will not come in your life. It will not come to your family in Jesus' name. Number one, your conversation is not changed. Number two, your conviction is not changed. Number three, and your communion is not changed. Your confession is not changed. Your confession is not changed. You have the Lord. You have the promises of God. And because of the promises of God, all things that the Lord has promised of a yes and amen in Christ in your life, in Jesus' name, now your, your comprehension will not change. Everything you understood before, you're still understanding now. That's how you're a leader. If a leader has been swept here and there, I've seen something on the internet, I've heard something somebody said, and they said this one is this, and this one is that, and because of that, comprehension is changed. He does not understand his left from his right anymore. He does not understand that God must take away and he must preserve Noah in the ark before the flood will come. He must take Lot and the family away before the fire of Sodom and Gomorrah will come. He must take the church away, the bride away before the fury and the wrath of God will come upon the world. Their comprehensions are changing. Your comprehension will not change. Because of coronavirus, they don't remember the word of God anymore. You see, when serpents uh, uh, pervaded the whole of the land of the, of the wilderness, when the children of Israel were going from Egypt to um, the land of Canaan, the, Lord of, the land of promise, then they murmured, the serpents were biting them, and some of them were dying. Thank God, thank God, the serpent will not bite you, and you will not die. During this period, the Lord will preserve your life. His eyes are upon you, and his face is uh, bright upon you and no corona and no serpent will bite you in Jesus name.